Well, once again, here we are. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm curvy calm and I'm a lamer and I suck. And uh, I'm not sure what to say other than that. But anyway, here we are again. Uh, this uh, stream is about um, leveling in Pandaria. Uh, it's also about getting the Grand Expedition Yak, which I call the Lucky Dew Mount. I guess that's what some people call it. Anyway, it's the Lucky Dew Mount for sure. Lucky Dew, Lucky Dew, Lucky Dew. Uh, thanks for all the lurking. The lurking People are lurking in the channel. That's great. I don't know if any of you are watching, but, you know, if you are, that's great. If you're not, that's great. And uh, um, so, yeah. Um, I got a lot to think about here today, but uh, I'm, I'm all the all the uh, um, technical stuff that is involved with streaming is a little overwhelming. I've got this uh, thing here going where I can mute the webcam. And uh, it doesn't mute the sound, just the picture. And uh, that's for, um, you know, I don't know. Actually, you don't know what it's for, but it's for whatever, you know. I don't know. If I have to blow my nose, maybe. <laughs> maybe I should be muting the sound, too. But I guess I can just go mute the mic like I can do this. Uh Unmute the mic, unmute the mic, mute the video cam. There it is. Uh, and uh, anyway, I could do that. That's fine. Uh, um, I'm going to switch to the gameplay mode here and go. I'm streaming it rather low res. I really don't know. It seems like it's very unreliable. Once again, I'm here on my banker. Uh... Uh, because uh, the Lucky Dew Mount is not a rep grind, it is a gold grind. So basically, uh, you gotta get some gold, which means you gotta get stuff to sell, and the stuff that you get when you're working on leveling is stuff you can sell. It's not a whole lot here today. I mean, just uh, I got I got a few hundred gold there, about a little under 300, and. Uh, as per tradition, we want to dance in the auction house because that's what started the whole trial of style thing anyway. Um, dance on the mailbox, dance in the auction house. Nothing else better to do when you're working on your auctions, which took a long time depending on how you do things. And uh, I've got a lot of auction mods. They're written by uh, professional traders that know about this stuff it's just amazing you know the knowledge that went into to these mods um, I just uh, um, am amazed so in any case uh, uh, this is a this is a this channel is a little bit different because um, um, I'm not capable of keeping a schedule because of my weird sleeping cycle so uh, having a schedule is not easy to do for me. Um, so instead, I just stream 24 hours a day, and uh, I rerun my old streams, and uh, that's what I do on this channel. That's going to be my thing. I do sometimes host other channels, but mostly I just uh, I just run my I just do my reruns. Sometimes I do auto host and stuff, but it just depends on what's going on. It's it's fine either way. Um, um, but if someone wants to know when they can see me on a stream, basically it's just all the time. I'm always on. So, and I'll kind of sh I show my old streams in reverse order and. You know, maybe I'll uh, I'll go uh, um, uh, um, I'll do my 
I'll do my archaeology scene. I'll do my archaeology series, and uh, um, you know, it just it doesn't really matter. Uh, I should. I just realized I should. That's a short series. I should probably put that in order. So I've I've gone ahead and done that now. Uh, maybe. Uh, let me see if I've accomplished that. Uh, I think like almost. All right, let's. I think that's. Did I do it? Two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, because if there's a series or if there's a video that happens to be broken up, and I'm not. You know, there's no. There's no capability of uh, stitching um, videos together without downloading them first. So. You know, I just basically, if I have to stop a stream and then restart it for uh, bandwidth reasons, then I just kind of na name it, you know, num stream number point one and stream number point two, and then I can keep them in order, and then there's really, sometimes I don't bother with the test pattern, and I just kind of just leave it right where it was, and uh, that's what I've been doing. So, in any case, uh, um once again thanks to all you lurkers out there i've been doing a lot of lurking in your channels as well so uh that's a thing and uh let's have a look at the appraiser let's see what i can batch post i'm just going to batch post whatever can be batch posted and i guess that's basically it i think i don't have anything i've got this blizzard account bound item I swear I should just be disenchanting these things because, you know, if they can be disenchanted, uh, I am never going to, uh, I am never going to, to, uh, pass these around between my alts. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the ones that can't be disenchanted, maybe, but, uh, I don't know. Let's see where they are here. Uh, okay, let's see. That's not where they are. Um, uh, yeah. Um, all right, well, let's see, uh, let me, let me, uh, get my disenchanting thing up and it'll show me what I can disenchant. Sonic Pulse Generator, uh, I can disenchant that, uh, what am I on here, S? Okay, let's see if I can, these are disenchantable, so, I just don't, see, I don't see any reason for, for, for having those, uh, Cannot, cannot, uh, uh, this can be, I think this can be too, but let me see, uh, yeah, it is, uh, this is disenchantable. I'm not ever going to pass these things around, really. I can just, uh. These account bound things, I'll just like a lot of these other things. These things are disenchantable. These things are not just disenchantable. Some of these are, I don't know what I have these things in here for. Some of these things are things that have been in here for a pretty long time. And uh, uh, I don't think I have too much else. Uh, Queen of Shara's dressing gown. I got two copies of that. I've got one with an enchant on it already, and uh, I don't know why I bothered with that, but just to put an enchant on something, I guess. They're basically just this thing, and I don't know about this. This is probably not disenchantable, uh, um, but uh, let's see what else I have here. It doesn't look like I have much of anything else here. Uh, so... I've got one with an enchant on it, so let me see. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, Carabor Arcanist wand. That's something I. That's not a. That is not a thing I want to disenchant. That's just my regular. That's my wand. That's part of my outfit. So, I. It's my the best wand I could find, I guess. So anyway, that's fine. I. Like? I gotta. I gotta see what I can disenchant here, so I can do. Sonic Pulse Generator can go, and what do you get for it? Ethereal Shard, and 
to sectors, staff, something or other. There, that goes. Uh, some of these I know I can't disenchant. Beak Breaker of Terok can't be disenchanted or sold. This one can. Blade of the Prime and uh, Yongle Fire Carrier. Uh, it's disenchantable. And uh, Arcane Pandaren Mining Pick. Uh, and here's a like, okay, so these three things can't be disenchanted, so uh, basically What's I'll just put here? these back in here. I don't believe this can either, so uh, these can go back in because now there's no point in, I could dispose of them later if I want or some of them, but I got disenchantment stuff, so that means I can uh, put this stuff up on the auction house if I want. And I'll just quickly do that. Uh, I won't bother with uh, dancing up there again because it's just going to be a second. Uh, I'll enable batch posting and I'll enable batch posting on this. And uh, so let me see. Uh, let me see. How does that work? That works pretty good, doesn't it? No. Uh, okay. Okay, that looks okay, doesn't it? Is it? No, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, oh, no. 515, why Why would it price it higher than hers? I don't know. doesn't matter, I don't care. I'm just going to post it as is. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to go ahead and batch both these things. And there we go, they're gone. And uh, hopefully someone will buy them. Uh, I don't really care. I don't even know what they are. They're enchanting materials for higher level enchants that I probably don't even have the ability to do right now. I don't know. I, I'm more interested in the low level enchants, to be honest, because those are more interesting and... Uh, They're more useful because you can put them on, you know, the lower level ones, at least under 600, you can put them on, you can put them on, uh, um, you can put them on, in, on heirlooms when they're low, low enough level and stuff, and then they'll stay on. And, you know, there's just a reason to do that that I can see that's, that's logical. So uh, I still wish there were head and chance in the game, but there are not. So what can you do about that? But nothing. So uh, <clears throat> I got a class hall report. I don't have any progress. I got one mission I can go to, and I'm not going to do any missions because I'm just really totally not interested in that. Draenor was a big Facebook game, and I think basically... Uh, um, when I saw they were going to do the same basic thing as as the as the uh, the the drain or followers, I thought, well, you know, I've had mostly enough of this. Uh, you know, it'd be nice if you had sort of kind of an option to go on some of those missions with your followers. That would be cool. You could take them with you. You could do a thing, you know, with with them. You could go to you know, actually defeat the boss with them, that'd be great, you know. But uh, sending them on, uh, sending them on missions that kind of just kind of feels like RuneScape, you know, really. And uh, while RuneScape is a pretty cool game and it's amazing and it's a uh, pioneering use of Java-based gaming, uh, um, it's amazing that there was a game like that that was actually all on the web, and uh, um, you know I have friends that play it, played it, and played it in the uh, the uh, vanilla days, and uh, some of them liked the changes that it went through when it got more like WoW, and some people didn't. But whatever, RuneScape, you know, is RuneScape, and uh, I wasn't really too too thrilled about the ship missions and Draenor because seemed like kind of reminded me of RuneScape too much. But, you know, people like doing the RuneScape ship miss missions, so 
<clears throat> maybe there was a reason to do it. You know, maybe that was a that was a thing. So if you could do it, why not do it? I guess that's the point. And uh, I'm just uh, I'm just gonna say, well, you know, uh, that I'm sure that's plenty fun to do. Anyway, so I'm gonna just uh, log out of the character and go to my druid. <clears throat> because Druid wow, wow leveling is what this stream is about. Getting the Lucky Do mount. Um, I really spent a lot of gold upgrading my heirlooms on my Druid character, so she doesn't have a lot of gold here because a couple of grand. But that will go up pretty fast now that I swear I'm not going to waste any more gold on stuff like that. Uh... You know I may not mean it, but, you know, that's why people can't save money, because they just have to have stuff. And uh, they want the stuff right now. So, you know, how do you save money when you're like that? But in any case, uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and log back into my, my Druid. I've also backed off the camera just a little bit. I think it's fine, and it's, uh, it's actually full. It's the full thing. And since I am using a, a green screen background now, I figured I could make the camera window thingy just a little bit bigger. And, uh, you know, uh, because you, you don't really, like, you don't take up as much of it. It's, it's uh, you know, I can, my arms, I, I can go all the way up here or whatever, but uh, am I going, I'm going past... But anyway, the point is, uh, you know, the, the, the confines of the camera box are kind of like uh, here and here, and you know. But I'm not actually up there, so there's no reason to make the camera box that small. So I saw I can make it a little bit bigger because it's not a big black square anymore. So that's what I did, you know, for better or for worse. I'm a lamer and I suck, so it, it might very well be the wrong thing to do. I really have no idea. And anyway, we're looking at Zulia, who's a shaman here. Um, it's uh, They're all wearing their dresses because uh, when I was trying to figure out uh, which ones had, had money that I could uh, put toward my uh, goal of doing upgrades or whatever, uh, I wasn't sure which ones had, you know, so what I did was I went through and I logged into them and I put a dress on every one except for this one, the banker. But I put a dress on every one that that uh, still had money. That's a that's a horde character, so I can't trade money with her. But I I I put a dress on every one, and um, her I've since logged into because of the gun. She got the gun and stuff. But I just put a dress on every one as I went through and to see if they had any money. So that's why they're all wearing dresses now. But uh, that way I could kind of scroll through and see who I've already done and not get lost. Because, you know, when you have ADD, you kind of get lost at things, and it's kind of a pain. So I got no uh, idea what I'm talking about at this point. Okay, Druid Girl, all her stuff is mostly green, and she's got that cool uh, Crusader enchant on her or whatever it is, I think, actually Mark of the Shattered Hand on her uh, um, staff, which she'd always had on there, but which it didn't always show. So I don't know exactly why that was, but... We're going to all getting in the game here. So... Um, Tree Law Village, I like this place. Uh, Sign of the Critter and or Ysera's Gift just got, I think, Sign of the Critter. Po recent event, Pet Battles, it's about pet battles. Uh, anyway, where am I headed here? Uh, what do I have to do in here? I guess I have, um, I've got... Uh, yeah, no reason to do any of this uh, um, th this uh, jade serpent or this serpent stuff because I've got this serpent here, and that is cool. That's the first uh, Pandaria mount I ever got because um, 
You know, I don't really, I just didn't really have any, uh, I didn't ever play Pandaria. I just, I leveled a panda for like one day and got out of the starting area. Because, I mean, you level so fast now, too, that, I mean, I remember in Vanilla how long it took me to get to level 10. It seemed like when I got to level 10, it was like, yes, double digits. I'm in the big leagues now. Oh, my gosh. It's embarrassing to think about how I felt at that point. I thought, man, I've got double-digit power. I'm unstoppable. And, uh, um... And uh, the amount of time it took to uh, go from level 20, when I first hit 20, man, I felt like Superman, Superman character, you know. So I thought, wow. And, you know, and, and in the meantime, I was on a PvP server, so I was constantly getting ganked. So I'm not sure how I'd re reconcile that. I was trying to do a quest or something in Lakeshire, and there'd be a warlock sitting on top of the inn, like with a 45 yard range of a fireball or a, a or a or a shadow bolt or whatever and he could just like snipe all these noobs and uh i'm like what am i going to do about this warlock you know nothing basically and i um like you know a 45 or 50 warlock is sitting up there what can i do nothing so <laughs> I could uh, log back in and come around the mountain and jump down and then uh, and then uh, like wave at him and beg him not to gank me. Uh, sometimes that worked, you know. You could just do a little dance or wave at him and say, "Please, that three or four times in a row isn't that enough?" But sometimes they'd corpse camp you. They'd get a couple of their buddies and they'd camp you at the graveyard, and there was just nothing you could do but just log out. All right. Back then, though, you could run to another graveyard. I don't know if you can do that anymore. It seems like it's not as easy to do that anymore. Uh, if you run as a ghost from one continent to the other, I do think that that works. Like, so if you then do the spe find the spirit healer at another graveyard, I think it it reses you in a different place so then you can at least continue on the game or something but in any case here we are on the jade serpent it's gorgeous or is it the azure cloud serpent it's not jade but the azure cloud serpent he's got a little itchiness going on and uh but uh scratch him behind the ears they love that so I guess where I'm going is uh, where I'm going to uh, somewhere. Uh, Soggy's ga gamble, maybe. That's his little thing there. Or I'm going here to do this stuff. Uh, Soggy's gamble, I guess. Hello. Sounds like a fine idea. That's where I'm heading, I guess. So I don't know how long that'll take me to get there. I'm not sure. I'm in the, where am I now? In the Jade Forest. So that's quite a, quite a ways, really. And uh, so uh, once again, thank you for all you, to all you lurkers. If anyone's actually listening, that's nice. I know there's at least one of you out there. Someone near and dear to my heart is probably watching. But uh, if, if, uh, um, so, you know, there you have, like, reason reason number 105 to get married is uh, so someone, at least somebody, will watch your stream. So, <laughs> please forgive me, darling. Uh, anyway, um, I, I've, I'm, I'm, uh, um, uh, I like, uh, I like streaming. I like it. I, I think it's better. I like it better than just playing the game. Uh, I noticed that when I was playing the game by myself, I talked to myself all the time anyway. So it's not all that hard. Although if you watch my first streams, which you can watch, <clears throat> you can watch those on YouTube.com slash CurvyCom. It's uh, pretty easy to find me. Every Like all my social media is like CurvyCom related. It's just... 
because it's a domain that I own that I've never really used for anything, but it's just something. It's like a nickname that's usually available because why would anyone else have it? And, uh, you know, it's fine. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? No idea. No idea at all. ADD, pop that puppy off the top of the stack. There's nothing I can do to retain too many trains of thought and get back to them. So, uh, anyway, now I can, like, make the, uh, um, I can make the, what, I can, what, what's that? I can make the webcam disappear and reappear. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a new capability that I have. I thought, you know, I was thinking about like putting a still picture up before when I did that, and then I figured, well, that would make it even harder for me to notice that, that the webcam's not on because I do the lamer thing. I suck so much that I would end up putting that picture up and then leaving it up for like an hour and not realizing that there was a still picture there on the whole thing. I am trying to look at the stream and make sure that I've got like the things up that should be up and periodically look and make sure my mic is on and uh but I'm sure I'll fail miserably at it but I will try. And uh so I'm streaming with a little bit of a black border around my stream and that's for, you know, people that use HDTV uh mon or HDTVs, older HDTVs too as a uh monitor. And uh like there's one I have. I actually have that one. Works fine in Netflix mode, you know, like if I'm uh, using like the Roku stick that's plugged into it, but if I am using, uh, like, have my laptop plugged in, I've got a laptop plugged into it, and uh, that's really, um, if it were using the VGA stream, it would be fine, but since it's using the HDTV stream, um, it just, it, it cuts off part of the picture. It's an old TV thing that goes back to the dawn of television, really, the the... The cutoff stream. The idea was to make the the video signal bigger than the picture that actually gets displayed, so nothing will get cut off in the weird TV screen shape. And you know what? You you know it used to be like back when they still had CRT TVs. You know the 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 last ones before they finally went to flat screen, uh, um, like LCD and and plasma and all that kind of thing. Uh, the last ones they had were pretty flat, but prior to that, they always kind of had an oval shape. You know, they were roughly four by three, but the sides were curved and even the corners were rounded. So, um, you know, it was a picture tube. It was too complicated to try to make it. But when, when they had like digital stuff, they could make more careful adjustments in the way the electron beam moved. They could start making the they could start making monitors have flat screens and you know uh, even though they were CRT they had some flat they had flatter screens and then they had absolutely flat screen ones that were really expensive at first and then all of them were kind of like that and I'll tell you what I was in Fry's Electronics once and uh, right at the very beginning of the wide stream TV thing there really were a few CRT monitors and TVs that were, well, especially CRT monitors that were widescreen. You cannot find those anymore because they did not make very many of them. But I have definitely seen some. And uh, uh, what am I doing here? I am looking, if I'm doing stuff in the water. That much is certain, though. I'm going in here and doing thresher teeth and full crab pots sent to the surface. All right. Well, fine. This is, uh, is dog coming with me or not? Dog? Dog is not coming with me. All right. Let me see what I got here. There's a thresher and, uh, I can, look at that. I hit him with a 
a thing and it didn't really defect him that much. Oh, it's because it was the night elf form of it. It doesn't, like, it does, like, 73 damage or something. Uh, it's not a very good attack, and if you switch to cat form while you've been using it, it's, it, it, it does more damage, but the one you use in kitty form just does so much more damage. So here, I'm going to send the, the, the traps to the top. That's what I, that's my job here, is to do that. So that's kind of cool. There's actually, a, there's actually a, several functions that these, that these things have, and uh, um, I guess now that I have that, I, I don't really, I can't really go any faster. Uh, I can't go any faster in swim form, so I might as well just do it like this. Um, well, in any case, I've got. Uh, I've got, these guys are hostile, but they're probably not going to attack me if I just stay away from them a little bit. Um, sent those puppies to the surface, and there's a thresher. And, uh, just hop and dot, basically, as though I were a warlock. I, I just, I remember I found a, I was in some... I don't remember where. I, maybe I was in a battleground and I noticed there was a warlock called Hoppin' Dot. I thought that was the perfect name for a warlock. They hop around and they dot people. That's what they do. And uh, especially in PvP, that's like the best thing they can do. They can stay out of harm's way and just run around and dot people. And uh, well, there's this ominous music, -da 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 -da, like there's peril. Like I'm in peril. This is the wreck of the mist. What is it called? The mist, uh, or something? I don't know. The wreck of the mist. Uh, does it say what it is? The wreck of the mist. Hopper, mist hopper. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. All right, I can maybe do this. All right, and uh, Thresher Jaw, is that what I'm trying to get? I'm trying to get a Thresher Jaw, but I'm also getting skin, and that's pretty good. Getting the leather is always ideal. Okay, I got all the traps that I need. Now I need some jaws for some reason. I, don't, I can't remember why they said they needed those, but... What does it say? Shark week. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be like, what? Oh, I see. Um, thresher jaws, but I, got, I really want this thresher teeth. So the teeth are what I need. If I have the jaws, can I just, oh, I see. I just like pull the teeth out of the jaws. Is that the idea? All right. I got lots of, I got lots of teeth, but I still need more. I've got like uh I can put uh um let's see here. I can All right, you're falling into my trap, you know. Attack me. If I hit, you know, if you were hit with like a fireball moon ball in real life, you would not run toward the the you would not run toward the 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 the, the dude that did it. <laughs> You would head for the hills, you know. Of course, that never worked with uh, being dotted, like in the vanilla days. Like, if a warlock hit you with their dots, you would run. And if you just ran, if that's what you did, instead of uh, uh, trying to heal or do something, you would die. So, uh, all right, I can do the thresher teeth here. And the teeth do appear, so I can just... All right, till I get close enough to hit that. Anyway, in real life, I think you'd probably run away. But uh, when you did that in a game, you know, as a player, you know, it didn't actually work very well. So maybe it makes some some, some kind of sense that the sharks run toward you because they figure maybe they might as well. Uh, they got nothing to lose. They're going to die anyway. Maybe if they bite you, maybe they have a fighting chance. And, you know, occasionally they, they do kill you, so... 
Those things do, they do kill you, so you think you're going to survive, but you don't. And, uh, all right. I got the teeth. The teeth are done. I got no more jaw thingies left. And I just have to go uh, up and out. Now, do I want to finish this area or what? What's my goal here, I wonder? Like, uh... I think, uh, something, anyway, I don't know. Scruffy, shabby gloves and scruffy cloth. I, I, you know what, I haven't been trying these grays on. And you know what, I always liked the, there was like a ragged robe, a whole ragged set at the human starting zone and maybe other starting zones, I don't know. But let's have a look at what these things look like anyway. I used to like some of these, uh, these, these uh, shabby grays. You know, sometimes they looked kind of neat. I, this, isn't, this doesn't look like very much of anything unique, but, you know, uh, it's kind of stuff you can put on, you know, if you're doing the, uh, if you're doing the, uh, the, it's kind of neat that you can have this vendor trash that you can actually wear, which is why I think, you know, you should be able to put on the, the, uh, the, what is it, the, the scantily clad dressing gown, the, 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 the risque dressing gown or, or something. It's called something like that. You know, it's like, uh, it's called, uh, I'm trying to think what it is called. I just actually can't think of it. Uh, there's some archaeology here, but there's really not much point in me doing it now. Just, just, uh, I was just doing it because of the, uh, I was just doing it because, of, because of the, the, the cloud serpent thing. And uh, and I ironically I spent four streams leveling my archaeology, and then I only did the quest maybe one time or no two times. I think I did it two times. So I did it. I had it already on my book. I did it, and then I handed all the quests. In. No, you know what? I think I only did it that one time. I don't think I ever had to do it again, because by the time I got back to it. Um, I don't know. You'd have to go watch the stream to know, but I either did it one day or two days, but I don't know. By the time I got back to it, though, I had already hit Exalted, so oh. there was no point in doing them anymore. Um, on the crab, okay? Nice work out there. Nice work. And let's see what the next thing is here. Shark Week. Truthfully, we're we're all glad he tried. None of us is an easy. None of us is is an easy day's work kind of person. Uh, having actually seen someone eaten by a thresher, I'm not sure why you'd willingly string their teeth around your neck. But whatever. Uh, those are perfect. Just put them down over there. I'd rather not touch them myself. Creeps me out. Okay, that's what she says. And she gives Keep me some gold. And I got friendly with the anglers. Oh, I see. These are members of the anglers. I see. Okay, so any kind of fishing-related stuff. Real-time strategy. Okay, it's going to be a fishing quest, isn't it? Apparently the sea is going crazy today and he can't keep up. See if you can't give him a hand. He's fishing just south of here. Stay focused. So where am I supposed to go? He's fishing just south of here. Who is he? And uh, who's here? Claw of the crew of the Mist Hopper. He's in. Does he have anything special? He doesn't Good really. Body. But I could sell my, my, my grays to him, I guess. Let me just do that. I'll sell my grays. Sure thing. All right. Now, he, whoever he is, is fishing just south of here. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Master Angler Julian. Okay. Slow down. I've spoken with him. Deck boss said you Enough needed some help. Look at that. You got like a bunch of uh, fishing lines and you're wow, you really are a master fisherman. You've got like looks like eight fishing poles going all at the same time by the looks of it here. Uh, it's pretty pretty intense there all that fishing. All right. So carefully, 
Okay, so Master Julian, pick any of these fabulous rods, carefully tug the line. That should help set the hook into whatever's flaying all around at the other end. All right, I'm helping him out here with that. And what have I done? I, I, is there something flailing around? Oh, it's an aka. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this thing going to attach itself to my head or what? Is it going to control my brain? I'm afraid of some of those things happening. So let's see. What's going on here? I'm going to tug on this line. See what? It's going to be another one of these darn octopuses, yeah? It's going to attack me, and I'm going to attack it back. All right. All right. There's another one. Uh, how many times do I going to do this? Uh, what? How, what is his assistant... Assistance, just assist him. Just apparently, just kind of do it, okay? Speak up. Uh, all right. So, Until like, next time. there's like three different. Oh, I see. Right. So there's four mm -hmm. different ones here. Enough I, of that. I can tug on these lines, and here comes another bloody octopus. All right. And uh, these octopi are not. Oh, I see. So there's like four of each one, and that that will be assisting him. And now I've assisted him. Now he's like, I'm fine. What what just happened there? Oh my gosh, what what I did I Leviathan? There's a Leviathan. He's yelling Leviathan. Like it's pretty obvious. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, it's a level 90 elite Leviathan. What's it gonna do here? What did he do? He jumped off into the... Did he get pulled off? Ah, he got pulled off into the thing? Is that... I want to... Do I, do I go... Do I go rescue him or something? Now there's all, like all these... There's all these, these uh, octopus all over the place, running around, hopping around. Jow spawn. They're everywhere. Oh my gosh. Let's see. So now what do I do? This is this is a uh, this is a conundrum. Um, is this an emergency? What happened out there? I heard a scream. Next thing I know, these nasty things come rolling in on the next wave. Oh my gosh. I agree. Bye. Uh All right. And that's all you have to say there patience. is that is that patience, patience, rescued out here. Uh, that's focused. just the regular thing she you always says. Don't mind those two idiots much. outside. They're caught up in some fad called sharking. All right. I'd wager they feel pretty dumb about that picture in a couple of months. It's like they're planking, right? I think that's what it is. Uh, Mariner's Revenge. Okay. I'm not going to sit in a damn rocking chair while my crew gets devoured by a leviathan. Come on, let's go to the dock and launch a dinghy. I got a special one set up ju just for this kind of situation. My own little Miss Topper Jr. I'm getting a uh, I'm getting a Moby Dick vibe here. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable with this. Uh, we're we'll give that thing a case of harpoon fever. You know, somehow I think that might not be the way that it that it's going to turn out, but. Uh, but, you know, um, we'll see. Well, I guess we'll see here. We're going to go somewhere in a dinghy, and we're going to harpoon a leviathan in a tiny little rowboat. What could possibly go wrong with that? Um, all right. Well, all right. Here we go. Oh, it is got it. It is a harpoony thing. So here we go. Jump on the thing, and... Hit, hit, hit the weak spots with the starboard hits. Uh, uh, is this where we're supposed to be aiming? Uh, um, all right, let me see here. I'm going to go ahead and go for that. How many hits do I need? Uh, I got to hit there. I got to hit it where it's uh, vulnerable, right? Is that the idea? Uh, all right. Well... I'm thinking this thing would have to be alerted to my presence by now. Uh, it's either bleeding that stuff or it's spitting oil all over the place. I'm not sure what it's doing, but I'm going to say let's just see if I can hit it in the head. Uh, and uh, is that it?
All right. Well, okay. I guess it's going to swim away. I, I guess it's not dead, but we've given it what for. All right. Let's get back to shore. Okay, let's do. We get back to shore. Here we are back to shore. No animation at all. That seems a little lazy, but, you know. Uh, all right. So uh, I'm going to say, let's see what. Nice shooting out there. I knew we could do it. Never met anything that can't be killed with enough harpoons, you know. I, I guess. I guess that's true, you know, but, uh, you know, it never really occurred to me before now, but, you know, now that you mention it, I I suppose I agree. All right, choose my reward, some spalders that are blue, but I already have um, much, much better ones. So uh, 11 or 12, so basically I take the best one, the more valuable. Life is to be savored. Life is to be savored. Okay, let's what see about... Mind? desk boss mazu bounty well can we get the fisherman back is he dead is he gone completely alesa it is an okay wait that was amazing at work you you and the captain did out there alesa it is an honor to have you on the crew wait a minute who said i was on the crew <laughs> no one ever said anything about me i did not sign on the dotted line there is no i did not i i was i drunk what i i I have no recollection of that, but I'll continue on. Oh, and Julian survived. He swam ashore after j just after you started letting the harpoons fly. He was raving about some kind of gigantic egg or something that washed in with Jiao. Really? Go check up on him, will you? He's probably hauled it in out of the water by now. All right. Goodbye. I guess that's interesting so so see let's see what he's done he's hauled it in out of the water what has he has he indeed okay oh look at that he's sure he's he's where he's over here okay i'm gonna say uh what do i do here i gotta do something here okay and the spalders and stuff have been added to my appearance What do they look like anyway? Are they nice looking spalders? They don't look like anything in particular. They just look like everything in Pandaria. It just look everything looks almost the same. So what do um, you need? But you know, in, in the defense of Blizzard, you know, they had a lot of other stuff to do. They were busy like designing a Pokemon game and making like plants versus zombies and other things like that. So they you know, that actually that was cataclysm though. But anyway, they were pretty busy designing like the Facebook game that that Pandaria be, kind of became. So, um, um, slow down. You know that's what they ought to do with the uh, the phone app. Is they ought to make it like you know. Not just you can get in your auctions and stuff. They should have it like where you can manage your farm. And I'm pretty sure you can already like uh, send your followers on missions from your phone. So, you know, you ought to be able to like go do the plant versus zombie game from your phone and everything. You know, like log into your characters and go play the phone, you know, the mini games. That would be awesome. Um Oh, I'm fine. I've had worse spills than that after a night at the Chum Bucket. Where's the Chum Bucket? Uh, but would you look at this thing? I spotted it peeking out of the sea floor, and I went under. When I went under, Jiao must have dredged it up while he was thrashing around on the... Well, he was thrashing around, dragged it up while he was chash, tr thrashing around on the seafloor. Not really sure what to do with it, but it looks valuable. Seeing, how, seeing as how you pretty much saved all our hides, I think we owe you this catch. I don't I know. I feel, watch over you. I feel a little uncomfortable with that. But what did they just give me then? Uh, let me see. So, uh, so do you just want to, I don't know, roll it away or something? Um, wh where is it? Is it, uh, wait, is it moving? Oh, 
Oh, it was up there, I see. Is it moving? Is it a manted? It is. Oh, nasty. It's Kara the Locust. Julian yells, you okay up there? Uh, cough, cough. The locust is fine. The locust says, get off me, insulin crabs. The Claxi beckon. I guess the Claxi beckon. Well, then. <laughs> I'm guessing you know something about what just happened. Uh, I do. I, 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 I say that I've been called awakener more than once now. Forget it. I don't want to know. I'm going back to my lines. All right. Uh, and what have I done now? Fiery wings uh, up here. All right. Let me see. So I got like... He's going to go back to his things. I got, what did I get? Like, I got a couple of, uh, I got a couple of achievements just now, and I didn't even look at one man's trash. Explore the, uh, find ten of the lost treasures hidden. I, I don't know. Why, why does it not, like, um, the summary? The summary should, like, have, like, everything I just did. General, I don't know. I'm not sure I understand, really. Uh, um... Statistics. What is the statistics? Uh, guild. Uh, everybody needs a logo. Statistics. Uh, recent achievements. Explore the Dreadways 311. What? What? Um, is March 12th? So these things aren't even showing up here. I guess, or maybe. Uh, I don't know. Um, questing. Uh, Um, Pandaria, let me see. Where's the Dread Wastes uh, thing? Here, Haste makes Dread Waste. All right, complete the Dread Waste storylines listed below. I keep I keep finishing other stuff though. Um, um, and then uh, let me see. Oh, slum it in the summit. But what about um? What about um the 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 What about the last um the last thing is the Valley of the Four Winds? Isn't that like a whole um no, like veil Veil of Eternal Blossoms, isn't that like a bunch of stuff I have to do still, and that's not part of the lore master there? I don't know why is that. What's happening there? What, what, I mean, that's like the, that's the whole thing with, uh, that's the 85 zone, and that's making history, so you have to do something, but evidently that's not part of the lore master thing. Is that, that's the final zone? That's the kind of Tanan jungle of Pandaria? Um, yeah, to be honest, I'm not really sure about it. So, all right. So now it hasn't sent me to do anything. I've just like got to finish the Claxi stuff. So am I really that? I thought there'd be a lot more left here. But anyway, where's the Kite Master? Uh, he, where's the Kiteapult? It's somewhere along here. Where is it? It's. It must be over here somewhere. Where? Okay. Or is there a kite master here? Actually, there isn't one, is there? Or yes, there is. There absolutely is. Here he is. It's this little cute Greetings. thing right here. All right. So I got to go to I what now? Sort of sunset brew garden kind of Tell area, maybe. Channels. I will go up there. What the hey? I think that'll be just fine. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I guess um, I've been putting off the last zone was is is uh, is the Veil of Eternal Blossoms. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, it's got the uh, um, it's got the the palace in it and the golden stair and. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't actually done it. It's got two flight points in it, Serpent Spine there, which I already have, and then uh, Shrine of Seven Stars, which I think I also already have, but I'm not sure if I do or not. But if I don't, I'll get it when I go there, because I'm probably going to be heading there pretty soon. So... All right, well, it, it's, it's, uh, it's where I'm heading next, though. I've still got my Klaxi bonuses. Uh, I wonder if, like, there's, like, a new Klaxi guy over here, the Locust uh, guy. I wonder if he's here somewhere, and he might not. I wonder if he might not have dailies now. Uh, he didn't really have a... Uh, he didn't really have a, um, a, uh, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. What am I trying to say? He didn't, he didn't really have a, um, a quest that he continued or anything, so. There's just the four, the four quests here. And, uh, all right. So basically, let me see where I'm headed is kind of over here. So I got Claxi related things to do, I guess, or and this is kind of brew, brew related or Claxi related. I'm not sure which. It might be brew related, but um, there's always a brew quest here in Pandaria. Rikitun Village. Rikitun? I'm not sure actually. So. Uh, um, well, I got to do something here, and uh, evidently, some of it is just find these fey dragons, huh? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I pet the, I like fey dragon dust or something, huh? And they fly off, is that what they do? They just hit you with the dust, and what? What does it do for me? Does it give me a buff? Or uh, anything? Flittering dust. Oh, you gotta keep five. If you don't, if you follow them, you get more of it. Okay, well, I guess only to a certain extent, but basically, that's what I need to do is get some dust. I don't know, actually. I don't think it actually matters if you follow them or not. You just get the dust anyway. You just pet them and you get the dust. So that's kind of what happens. And these Rikutun village, these are like, I see, these are like these little sprites that you you help out here with some of these quests. All right, very interesting. I'm getting the I'm getting the dust. I'm getting there. I'm very close to the max amount of dust that I need. All right, he's gonna fly off, but I think I'll have it this time. Looks like maybe I need 88. Oh no, one short. It's probably deliberate that they did that. Okay, now I got it, and uh, I'm getting the dust. There's gonna be these things here. I gotta. What do I have to do here with? Oh, do I have to ring the bell to these seeds or something? And what do I do? Oh, here. All right, I see. They're going to do their thing. They're doing it. They're going to help me with it. Right? And what has that done for me? Is it, do I help? Do I do anything? Or does I just wait until they finish it? Is that true? Uh, what, what am I supposed to do? Um, um, okay, I have to bring it back. Oh, bring it back to the... The mother's whatever pit thing, and um, so I basically just have to go back to where their little house, their home is. But where is that? I can't actually remember. Uh, must be over here. I got one quest that says I better not turn it in, so I'll know for sure where to go. They're going to use their 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 magic blue fairy powers to uh, to bring this over. Is that what we're doing? What? I don't actually know. What? 
what uh what am I supposed to do? Are, am I supposed to bring this? Where, okay, let me. I better read this. Great vessel of salvation. Bring three mother seeds to the collection pit in the Rikutin village with the assistance of the Rikutin chanters. You can use the Rikutin bell to summon your chanters if you become separated. Bring the mother seed back to the mother seed pit. Well, this is not the mother seed pit, clearly. So where is the mother seed pit? Uh, I'm going to say it's somewhere other than where I am right now. Uh, say, bring the mother, okay. So the pit, it's showing like the zone here, but I think, obviously it's not that. Could this be it? This be the mother seed pit? <clears throat> it is not. It's just a. Uh, it's just a. <clears throat> it's just a, a a whatever this thing is. All right, it's whatever that thing is. Where would the mother seed pit be? There truly is a mother seed pit, huh? Well, it's not like down in there, right? So it's not that. Uh, I guess I should loot that. Let me see. So what are we doing here? Um, am I, I'm not sure what the pit would be then. What is a mother seed pit? Is it in the village? Is it, uh, Is it up here somewhere? Is this it? Is it this one of these things up here? I don't really know. It doesn't appear like it's uh it doesn't appear like it's anything in particular here. All right, let's read this. Uh you can use, okay, bring the mother seed back to the mother seed pit. I know what you and the girl panda seek. We can perform the right for you in time. First, I require A, the seed, the seeds fall from our great mother tree. It is our responsibility to collect them, even in dangerous times like these. Escort my chanters to the mother seeds that they may bring them back to the collection pit. The collection pit is where? Okay, these are the mother seeds. Where's the collection pit? What is a collection pit? What does it look like? What form does it take? Uh, I mean, it kind of looks like it might be here. But it's obviously not this. Uh, mother seeds, uh, collection pit, it's not this. There's another big mother seed here. What would the collection pit look like? And where would it be, I wonder? Uh, Well, I obviously have not successfully done. I have to figure out where this collection pit is because uh, mother seed pit. Oh, it's right here. I see. I see. Okay. All right. Well, all right. Very good. I guess that's the point. I'm going to have to call these guys again. Now I know where the pit is. It's just right there. It's right there, man. Okay, that's one. 
So basically all I got to do is find some more of these things. There's one right there. All these Riki Tune people are all here. So basically I just need to go. Uh, I can be in cat form. It's fine. Because I can, we can go faster. All right. Here is one in the pit. Back in the pit. Two of them. All right. And I uh, need one more. I don't see why they need my help for this. They're perfectly capable of doing this on their own. Um, but it's not like they're being attacked. Nobody's attacking them. Why, why do they need my help for this? So, I mean, there should be like an explanation, like they can't see when they're doing this, they're blind, so you've got to grab one of them by the hand and sort of lead them back to the pit because they can't see. Why can't one of the other guys do it? Is they have all, do they share some magical sprite vision that they can't do it or, I don't know. So anyway, um, I've done it now, and uh, what else is there to do? There's a bunch more stuff to do. There's like, there's like, uh, kill these guys probably, and uh, they will not help me fight, I don't believe. They'll just follow me around and, and dance. They'll dance around. They'll dance around periodically, and this is what they'll do. They won't do much of anything. All right, so if these are the guys I want, though. They'll follow me around. Okay. So I'd say whatever they did with the scaling or whatever, it's pretty good, at least when these, uh, I'm over-leveled for this area, but I'm not one-shotting these people, these, these creatures, so it's kind of cool. I hit them with a couple dots, takes them a few hits to go down. It's a little bit less of a challenge than it was when I was the right level, but still, you know, it's, at least it's not, um, it's more immersive, I think, if you have to fight them a little bit. You know, so, uh, yeah. All right, so let's see. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? I guess down here are more of these guys. I just have to get them. Um, my little dudes are going to keep following me, I guess. All right, that's seven, that's all I need. It says more work, which means I have to get another a Kuiperite, one of these things, I guess. Okay, I guess there's only one of a kind here. Oh no, I guess there's more than one. Oh no, there's an Al Gunnis or something. I guess there's like, uh, I guess there's more than one kind. Can I herb this thing or what? There it is. No herbing on the on these. You'd think this would be an herbing situation. Right now, I have to get this guy. Okay. Oh, I see. A Kuiperite is not a unique creature. I gotta get more than one of them. Okay. They do not. They do not. Um, I see. I gotta get another one of those whatever they are and uh, we'll see what um, one Kuiperite it could be anywhere I guess it could be anywhere so basically it could just be anywhere in this zone if I fly around a little I'll see one hopefully yeah well it could be somewhere but I don't know where I'm not seeing it. What is that? What wisdom do you seek? You oh, what, is this a rare spawn welcome. that you can't attack? Is that true? Or is that just because I'm in? Oh, okay. So. Welcome, Wanderer. Welcome, Wanderer. Why do I want to sky mirror 
uh, I Lee Sky Mirror, why would I want to attack you? You seem like you're not. Seems like you're minding your own business here. You've got your little Fey Dragon. And, uh. Um. And I'm not going to want that. Whatever that chain mail or plate piece that you drop, I'm not going to need it. I'm not going to wear it. So, uh, where am I headed here? I'm, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for these, these, uh, a, a Kuiperite. And, uh, it could be anywhere, I guess. It could very well be anywhere. It could be, uh... I'm just going to look around, and hopefully I'm going to see one. Have I gone outside? That I'm coloring outside the lines here. Let me see. Uh, horror comes arising. Get the Kuiperites. I, I got the Miststriders, and then I have to get a couple of Kuiperites, and they're not very common, evidently. Is it because I have to kill a bunch of Miststriders? Is that what it is? Or I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll be right back.
Well, I'm back, I guess. Um, all right. Well, now I'm going to be thinking about whatever that was <laughs> for a while. So I'm going to probably have that deer in the headlights look. But I'll try not to. You know, I'll try not to have that look. Um, I'll try to move on from whatever I'm thinking about and not think about or trying not to think about, and uh, I'll just kind of go on from there. And uh, it's probably getting time to... No, it's not. It's like it's only been an hour and a half, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, I, I'm kind of like getting hungry, though. I don't know. I, had, I made some great soup this morning. Not that you all want to hear about this, but... You know what I'll do now that I'm here, though? I still need that one more guy that I have to find. Uh, 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 I don't know what I have to do. Is there a trick to this? I think there isn't. It doesn't say anything about anything. It doesn't say anything about, like, that they don't spawn unless you kill the other ones or something. But maybe that is the case. I don't actually know. But tell you what, I'll pop in and say hi to the lurkers for a moment while I'm just sitting here hovering above the quest area, and uh, and I'll just uh, go from there. All right, let me see here. I gotta, I just gotta do it this way. All right. I'm just saying, still lurking to everyone, and, uh, you know, not a big deal, but it's a nice, I think it's a nice gesture. I like when people do it for me, so I kind of periodically let them know that I'm still hanging around, and some of them that sort of dropped off the radar will kind of sometimes drop on for whatever reason. I'm not actually sure they've ever dropped off or dropped on. I'm not sure how this works. Uh, um, sometimes they drop off, sometimes they drop on. I usually just lurk anyway. I stay on, I stay on their channel whether they lurk in my channel or not. It's kind of what I do. And he says, hi, looking good. Very nice. And, uh, maybe I should go to his channel. He always writes back. Uh, everyone kind of is coming back on. I don't know. It's I. I, I don't actually understand the 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 way that the client shows how many lurkers you have or or watchers or whatever. Because when they type to you, they come back. Or I don't know actually if they have to do something or. Yeah, I'm really not sure. So, uh, here I am doing this. I even thought, you know, another thing you could do is, is, um, you could, uh, you could have a, a uh, I could, instead of like a still picture for the webcam, when I mute the webcam, I could actually have like a little repeated video. <laughs> you know, could be like a little animated GIF of me talking on the thing. Um, uh, oh, I see. I get it. I understand. I see now. Okay. Um, um, I see. Uh,
I kind of guessed that, dude. You know, I, you're, you're on there. I guess you're on there now. Am I talking to you? Are you responding to me as I talk? That's, I, I, I kind of guessed that. I wasn't sure, but uh, um, I kind of thought uh, you were thinking about getting WoW. Ah, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's not for everyone. Do you, you played it before, I'm sure. Like, everyone's played it, right? Uh, 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 cool. That's cool. I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm in the big time, you know, here all of a sudden. Like, I've, I'm talking to someone and they're on the stream. It's, it's, it's almost like I'm a real streamer. Um, I probably... I probably, this is like, I'm getting close to my 100th two-hour video here, so, so, yeah, I, I actually, uh, I actually, um, um, I actually thought about, uh, like, oh, there's a couple of other MMOs I've kind of been interested in, like there's Black Desert Online, I hear it, it looks gorgeous, but I hear it's a little grindy, you know, and, uh, um, I was such a noob when I first uh, played WoW that I didn't even know really what to do. So it just took me forever to level. Back then it took a long time anyway, but it's pretty easy now. And you know, you don't even have to have, like, you don't have to have a subscription to play WoW in the beginning. You can kind of check it out. You can level up to 20, I think, is, is the way it works. And uh, so... So Black Desert, you know, I mean, it looks, yeah, Black Black D, it looks cool. Uh, Blacky D. <laughs> no, it looks like, it looks great. It looks like a fun game. Now I'm flying around in circles. I'm looking for this one last dude here that, that, that evidently has to die for some reason using WoW logic, you know this one creature and I'm not seeing him anywhere there's supposedly like two of these things it's a Kuiperite it's somewhere uh... um... alright oh I finally get the joke okay right okay um... <laughs> oh look the heart of fear I discovered a new thing. I got 1164 EXP for just flying over this spot. Well, where in the world is this thing I'm trying to find? Um. Uh. No, you. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> no worries, dude. No worries. No worries. But I mean, I family friendly. I don't know. I mean, everyone, uh, everyone's. I, I, it's not natural for me to be dropping the f bombs all the time, anyway. So I figure if I put myself out like that, then you know, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I basically most people, I think their humor. It, it, if you think about it, it doesn't really rely on the f bombs. They would be just as funny, and everything they say would basically be the same without it. So. Unless it's part of your style, then I, 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 it's not really necessary. And, and like I said, I don't do it a lot. In, I mean, everyone swears a little bit. I don't do it a lot in real life. So, you know, I don't really care if other people do. It doesn't bother me. I watch plenty of streams where it's F everything. Um, it's F bomb central. But... <laughs> It doesn't bother me, but, you know, I figure, well, this could be something that could set me apart a little bit. You know, I, I pledge to not uh, um, be something that your kids can't watch, you know. If they want to watch a boring stream with no F-bombs anyway, you know, that's better than a boring stream with F-bombs. I don't know. Your kids probably don't want to watch a boring stream. But, you know, I, tr I do what I can. That's the thing. I do what I can. <laughs> So, I mean, what can I say? I'm looking for this thing. It is nowhere to be found. It is nowhere to be found. There's, there's just uh, Eilis Sky Mirror, and she's a rare spawn. She's not a quest objective. There's nobody. There's none. I, I found one of those things, and the rest of them, I have no idea where one could be found. How long have I played WoW? I've played WoW since uh, 
almost vanilla WoW, like 11 years. I started actually playing at the beginning of Burning Crusade, which was the very first expansion. And so that was where you could get that expansion and then level up to 70 instead of 60. And the interesting thing about that was back in those days, the vanilla game, if you bought WoW, the, the first thing, and you didn't buy the expansion, the vanilla game was the same. It was the same as the vanilla game. It was like the map was the vanilla map. There weren't any extra regions on it. And then when you uh, bought the Burning Crusade expansion, you know, the, the Draenei and uh, Blood Elf areas would appear on the map, and the map would actually change shape a little bit you know, to allow for Silver Moon and the Ghost Lands, and then Azur Mist and Blood Mist Isle would appear. They were kind of off the coast, though. And then the boats to take you there. Back then, you could only go by boat to those. Now you can take the Griffins. But, uh, um, so it was like you played Vanilla while. I only had the Vanilla game for a couple of weeks, I think. I'm not sure how long, but a while. I played for a while before getting the Burning Crusade. And, uh, you know, that enables you to get, like, another... There was one other alliance race you could play and one other uh, alliance uh, um, class. And you could also, uh, back in the vanilla days, only Horde could be Shaman and... Uh, um, and you too, you too, Amanda Plays. Um... Nice to see you. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for saying hi and stuff. If you're there, I don't know if you're really there. You might be chatting via IRC, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, so the very, very beginning of Burning Crusade, and uh, and that's about... Uh, uh, hello, Neo Spring. Uh... Okay, that's good. You're you're there. Okay. Well, anyway, you take care. You have a good one. Um, and was I? I appreciate you stopping in. That's very nice. Um. So I try to do the same for people. If I'm lurking, I try to spend a little time in their channel, and then I like to go back and kind of really hang out a little bit. And uh, you know. I mean, you never know. If you if you do that, you you find someone that you you know you might like to watch. So you just never know. And uh, so that's kind of what we all try to do for each other, I guess. Uh, where is this thing? It is a Kuiperite, and it is not. I mean, this thing is is it's just a, a thing that looks like one of those things. It looks just like a mist lurker. But it's a Kuiperite, and I have to kill another one. It's like a little bit green in color. And I'm just not seeing one anywhere here. And this is going to be, like, down here, this is going to be one of those mineral snaky things. Right? That's what this is, right? This is just another underground snake. Right? There he is. This has nothing to do with anything. Um, but yeah, I guess 11 years I played WoW, really, I mean, from, um, it's, it's, I, I think that's how it's been that long, actually. Um, but yeah, I, I played in the, ah, oh, is that, no, that's a Mistwalker. It looks just like this, the thing I'm looking for, it looks just like this, but it's, uh, but it's a uh, different color. And there's just not a single one anywhere. And uh, playing a druid, so I got the instant flight thing. But I got, like, you know, grinding for a mount. That's what this was all about. And uh, I got the uh, Cloud Serpent mount. So is that cool or what? That's one you get for a... Uh, that's a rep grind. It's not a very big rep grind. They make it really easy. Okay, there's my... He kind of looks like that. The guy I'm, I'm after kind of looks like that guy down there. He looks a little bit like that, I think. But um, that's, a, that's a quest mob I've already taken care of, so... Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Um, and they should be lit up. Um, 
I'm not sure. Um. Uh, Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you, you bet. Yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. If if you wanna, if you wanna, um, if you want to uh, uh, put me on host, that's great. I'll auto host you too. And uh, um, I am I I don't do a lot of auto hosting. I do it sometimes, but uh, it is for usually for short periods of time. Because see, the thing is, I can't keep to a schedule because I got this weird sleeping thing. So I run my old vods. I have reruns on my channel, and it's not the best thing to do. I wouldn't recommend anyone else do it, <laughs> because that means that you have to get, it counts as a stream, which means you have to have enough followers or enough watchers to watch your reruns to count, you know, for toward your affiliate numbers. So it actually makes it a lot harder for you, as far as I know. But, uh... But yeah, I'll, I'll put you on auto host when I get off the stream. I'll, I'll I got a couple people I auto host, so, um, and uh, um, you know, I you know, it depends if I if I'm hanging out in your channel, I'll definitely host you for sure. But I'll put you on auto host, and and uh, when I don't have anything up, you'll just automatically come up. You and there's maybe one other one that I have auto host list right now. Not very many. But, you know, if someone auto hosts me, I kind of feel like I got to auto host them. I mean, you know, what kind of a what kind of a streamer would I be if I didn't do that? So, um uh So, yeah. I don't know, man. I I I uh I don't even know really why I'm doing this. I just got like uh now I'm flying around like uh, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's I I decided I was going to level in Pandaria cuz I never did Pandaria before. And uh, so, so I kind of just said, well, all right, I, I want that mount. There's a mount, like a, a ground mount, and, uh, um, and it's the, this is a cool mount, and there's this ground mount that is uh, what I've been, it's called the Grand Expedition Yak, and it has two vendors on it. And one of them is a transmogrification vendor, and one of them is a repair m vendor. Now I got this. Uh, I got this one from the Wrath of the Lich King. Uh, this one here, I'll show you if you're still looking. Uh, it's got two vendors on it. You can even kick them off and give other people rides. But uh, it's got a repair vendor, and you can sell your stuff when you got junk, you know, and uh, like that. Repair your gear. And uh, they both have they have some they have some food that's actually not entirely useless. So it's 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 still like a level 80 kind of ill, and you can go up to level 110 now in WoW. So, but there's a uh, there's a mount that's uh, that's sort of like this yeah, this this mammoth, but it's a big yak, and it's got two vendors on it. Used to have a repair vendor. And a um, uh, it was called reforging vendor because uh, they had a thing in the game called reforging, but they only had it for one expansion. And uh, so, so the yak, uh, what the yak does for you is it has a repair guy on it, but it also has a transmog guy. So that means you can um, you can keep your it's easy to keep your appearance that you want. So like this character, it's not a great transmog I have here, but it's kind of like everything is green, and then she's got her, there's two druid quests, there's not a lot of class quests in the game anymore, but there are two druid quests, one was his staff, and one was these antlers, and uh, so, you know, I kind of like streamlined everything where everything kind of, you go to the transmog vendor and you can kind of like click, well, do one click and pay a little bit of gold and convert your gear to back to the same thing if you want. So it'll always basically look the same. And, uh, and so, uh, the yak is really expensive. I thought it was going to be a rep grind, and that's why I started the, the series. But as it turns out, it's a gold grind. So you just need gold. There's no reputation required to buy it. There's only there's maybe one guild perk that might make it a little bit cheaper and that's about it. But it's 120,000 gold, so you know, 
you farm, you quest, or you or you are if you're good at the auction house, which I am, then you can uh, you can do that. So you know, yeah, I figured nature, cause it's a druid, so you know we wanna we wanna be all green and stuff, green in color, and you know, um, yeah. You know, and I don't know, it's a funny thing, I didn't have a lot of leather transmog gear, so, um, and there's very little that I have is green in color. I don't know why that is, but um, there's not a lot of green colored stuff, you know, so so uh, I had to, I had to hunt around in my list of things that I could transmog to, so, you know, I mean, you have a list, you can kind of bring it up like this, I don't know, you haven't played WoW before, I guess, so... But you didn't used to have this. You used to have to, you like, you can have, like, all, look at all these mounts I have. There's about 162 mounts in here. And uh, you used to have to carry them around in your bags or put them in your bank or something. And uh, it was just impractical to have more than a few because, uh, you know, they took up bag space. But then they put, like, pets are in one thing and mounts are in another thing and all your toys, a lot of your little... Um, a lot of a lot of little things you carried around with you for making some crafting easier and stuff became toys, so they go in the toy box and they don't take up a bag space. And there's heirloom gear that you can pass around between your alts and and uh, and then appearances. And they've changed a few times how that works. But now you know when you get an appearance, it basically. Uh, it, it it goes above like all of your characters. If you if you're a leather wearing character, then all your leather characters will will be able to access all of these appearances for each of the slots. And uh, except for uh, um, the the cloak, which it goes the cloak goes with all of your the cloak goes with all of your characters. So uh, you can you can do that. Um. um See, that's why I have so many pages of cloaks, because every time you get a cloak with any character, it basically, uh, it goes on your big list, so. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, I'm looking for this uh, creature, or whatever the heck it is. Did I get it? It says I got it. When did I get it? I don't understand when I got it then. I just got it now. How did that happen? I don't know. Maybe it was I was mistaken about what I was supposed to get. Maybe it was one of those big snakes. And maybe that's why I had one. I thought it was something else that I killed, but maybe not. I don't know now. Uh, it's very confusing. But, you know, that happens all the time. I am a lamer, and I do suck. So, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, and... Uh, Yeah, and you can, you can uh, with transmogrification now, you can hide a lot more. You used to just be able to hide your helm and cloak in the vanilla game. You could hide your helm, you could hide your cloak. Now you can hide your shoulders, you can hide your belt, you can hide your, uh, let me see what else. I don't know, that's it, I think. You can hide your cloak, you can hide your tabard, you can hide your shirt, too, if you have a shirt, which... You don't really need because the shirt doesn't do anything for you in the game stat-wise, but people just get them to complete their outfits or whatever. Sometimes it looks good to have like a black shirt under your gear so people get a plain black shirt to wear under their gear and stuff. So, so anyway, I'm going to turn this in here and say, uh, say yeah. Uh, thank you, Plaguey. Plaguey is so following me. So, uh... And, uh, that's very nice. So, uh, let's see, uh, I got, uh, what are these things? These are staves. Staves. No, staves are what go in a barrel. These are staves. And, uh, 2418, I guess we want the staff. The thorns, the blade, we want the staff, it's worth more. We'll take that. And then we'll go with, uh... We'll go with Welcome. this. Nice work. I've heard the sprites talking about us. We're getting their attention. And what is that doing for us? Travel safe. Um, 
And so I got uh, I got this going on. And uh, uh, you can put your weed in there. Uh, he said, who said? Uh, you can't. Uh, um, uh, what does that mean? I, I, no, I know, I know what it means, but, uh, uh, you can hide your weed in there. You can put your weed in there. Uh, it's a meme. It must be a meme. I was trying to see, I didn't know what that word was back when we were talking about that a while ago, like some years ago. And I was like, that's a meme. Is there like a, can, you can put your Man weed in there, a meme? Protected. I think there is. There's got to be. Um, if that's not a meme, that should be a meme. So, I should look that up. Anyway, Chief Riku Rikitun, uh, blind, bind the glamour. Okay, the forked blade is re Oh, this is all about the blade, huh? The forked blade is ready, and we have given our gift. Please... Perform your incantation. Oh, now what? About the forked blade? Really? Is that what this is going to be? This is all about the fork? Uh, yeah, but, like, what I wasn't sure whether it was a really a meme or not. Like, if it was a meme that people really did, you know, like, you know, like the respecting women meme or the your mom gay or... Or, or uh, you know, whatever there is, Bit BitConnect, or uh, my name is Jeff. Uh, there's a, you know, I don't know, I don't know how many. There's there's a zillions of them. So oh, he's doing his ritual. There's something going up in the air. It looks like a. Is that the blade? He's enchanting the forked blade, and what will I receive the forked blade at some point? Then is that is that true or what? He's done the thing there, and then he's going to run back. It is done. Okay, it's done, and then what? He's going to run back here to the home base here, and then he'll be he'll be. Uh, all right, then he'll be here, and, uh, um, yeah, I don't know, um, uh, now only one task remains you must use it okay like a highway lane oh hello um and uh i feel like i'm dropping the inside jokes now maybe i shouldn't be doing that uh, nobody else will get it but anyway um Okay, whatever's inside that sap must be important. Good luck, Alesa. All right, joy. and you are most um, welcome. Blood of the Ancients. Leah and I agree on one thing. Blood of the Ancients is almost certainly the sap from the great trees of the area. I should know. I brew with this stuff all the time. So, yeah. Okay, the most ancient tree of all is that one that the Grand Empress Zier calls her home, now known as the Heart of Fear. Oh, I already found, I just found that recently. Find some amber from that tree and our brew should be complete. May you find mastery in your so, passions. We're trying to decide whether we're brewing beer or doing some other task that seems a little bit more important. But uh, basically, this is what's happening here. So, um... I guess I gotta go over here and I have to see what is gonna be here. So there's like the chunk of solidified solidified amber and the fires of and fears of old. Now I wonder if Chen what's or lower lower master Cho is gonna gonna come join me for this because you know. Okay. So first of all 
What? This is sort of indicating what? That I go somewhere. Every time I go over it, it disappears, though. And then what am I supposed to do here with the knife? Am I supposed to use the knife somewhere? What does it say? Throw the ruining fork. It's the ruining fork. Throw it. Can't use the item while shape-shifted. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure throwing it, how. I'm not sure what that's going to entail. So, uh, like, unshape shift. I got no valid targets here, so, yeah, that's not, that's not how it's done. I'm going to have to go somewhere. There's this little platform here, but that doesn't appear to be where I'm headed. Uh, there's something sort of over here, but this is all going to be basically just... That's going to be underground, so there's either a way in over here or there's a way in up there. So where, however you get into this place is going to be... Yeah, uh, so you probably have to get into this place somehow through some means here. <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, this is quite a spectacle, this thing. Could this be the entrance here, Heart of Fear? Oh, man, is this like... I don't have to go in there, do I? Uh, I don't think so. That looks... See, that's a... That's the... Uh, that's the dungeon, so we don't necessarily want to go in there. If I go in here, this is just going to be, what What will it say? And I've got, like, heroic set, too, so I definitely don't want to do that. Well, all right, well, let's see, we're going into the, we're going into the, uh, um, we're going into the thing, and, uh, I sure do appreciate the the auto host and uh, like I said I while 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 I'm waiting for that to load maybe I could okay so this is a level 92 elite level 98 I could probably solo this but this is my quest objectives are not in here so heart of fear is not really where I want to go but I don't know there must be some other way of. Uh, there must be some other way I have to... There, there must be something I have to do. I, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm going to kind of go this way and uh, see if... Uh, there's all... You know, I mean, there's like... The, these buildings are very confusing. And so um, if I get like here, that looks like an entrance. This looks like it could be an entrance. So maybe this is where I need to go. Uh, and what's here? Is that an herb? Shaw touched herb, so it could be anything. Okay. Pretty good. All right, Stealth Kitty. He's a kitty that can become invisible. Stealth Kitty. Okay, what am I doing in here? Nothing? Clearly nothing. Uh, what, what, okay. Use the ruining fork on the Lycook, the Lucid. Well, that's obviously not him. He's just a regular needler. So I've already been in here once already, but, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, look, is this a lore item, the Empress? Look at that. Okay. Heart of the Mounted Swarm. Okay. And it says a bunch of stuff. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it right now, but... Let's see what uh, is what in here. There's a little housey here too. What's this? What's this all about? Okay, stealth kitty. Okay, I'm. 
Um, probably no one knows what a Saturday morning cartoon is anymore, but that's kind of what that song is like. A they used to advertise like action figures and stuff, and they always the songs were always the same. So they was always like Stealth Kitty, he's a kitty that can stealth, you know, and it, like that was like how all the all the um, the toy advertising songs were in like the 1970s or something. So, uh, um, all right. So I'm going this way. I'm just gonna stealth my way back out here because obviously nothing to that area. All right. I just don't know where I'm supposed to be going, but there's this little building here. There doesn't seem to be any, um, there doesn't seem to be anything here, uh, that's particularly, uh, anything. So, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with the, uh, when it comes to the sap. Like, getting the sap is, could it be this, these things here, or, or what? I mean, what, um... Amber Hibernal, is this like no valid targets? It's not this. Okay. I really don't know. Um, and I, those are just sprites. You can't even interact with them. So, uh, what? Oh, here, here's something. What's this? Solidified Amber. Well, that's something at least. I found that. Okay. I wasn't in kitty form, so I got some fall damage. So let's see, now I've done that. So now what? Uh, now I gotta use the, ru the ruining fork on Ly Lyokuk the Lucid. Okay, and then protect him until he escapes. So use the ruining fork on him and that would be where though so it kind of shows me to go here but then um so obviously there's either an entrance of oh yeah here we go is this it this is going to be it right here got to use the ruining fork right here this is gonna this is gonna do its thing uh all right let me get back here i should have known and then the big rocks are going to fly out, and then I can go in there. That's the deal. Okay? All right, kerboom. And they're little sprites. They're... What are they? The chanters. They came and they did something with that... Uh, they did something with that... Um, with that amber or something. I'm not sure what they did, but... So, amber hibernal. So, I'm just going to... We're going in here, and then we're going to do... Uh, something see this doesn't look good at all this looks like mama storm stout stout is like urinating <laughs> it's, it's, but i guess she wouldn't be doing that but no i don't know uh, it's even worse than that i don't know what's going on here it's terrible whatever's happening it it, it d doesn't look good it does not look good mama storm stout is stuck here and uh all right well let me see i guess i got to I gotta throw the ruining fork. I've now thrown the ruining fork. And, uh, what do I do? Do I have to. I've thrown it. And now the do I have to do this? Nigh. I must answer to the swarm. Okay. I got that. And then, uh. Set me. Free the Claxi call. The Claxi call. I know. So uh No You will not keep me inside this abhorrent prison. Okay. You're gonna, she's gonna throw up. They always throw up when they wake up. I'm staying back. I'm gonna stand back. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Jen Storm Stout. Uh, 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 what? Where? 
What is going on? You were being mind controlled by some sort of malevolent ancient insect creature. Ugh, oh, that. <laughs> bah, I've been through worse. And who exactly are you? I am Chen Stormstout from the Wandering Isle. Stormstout? No, you're fooling. Really? A Wandering Isle Stormstout here on Pandaria? Where's the rest of the family? I will explain on the way back to the south. Okay, explain on the way back to the sap masters. They're just going to vanish in a moment, aren't they? Yeah. So, uh, like I said, this isn't a this isn't a dreadlock channel or a vape channel or any particular way. It's I guess it's a wow channel at the moment, but. Uh, I may do the dreadlock thing again. I don't know. I, it's been a while since I've had them, and uh, it was fun having them. It was uh, more. It was more work in some ways than I than I um, thought it would be, but in some ways it wasn't as much. So it's hard to explain. But it was. It was. It's. It's. Okay, yeah, unseemly, unseemly Mama Storm Stout, but it was, it, it, I wasn't sure what was happening there, so I didn't want to comment, you know, but, uh, and then when the Mantid came back to life, I'm thinking, okay, no, I'm not falling for this again, I'm going to stand back, she's going to vomit right on me, because they always do, but for some reason she didn't, I don't know why, so, anyway, So here we are at uh, whatever, uh, I guess I'm going to, hang on for a second, I'm going to, I have to look at something here. I have traveled far to assemble these goods. I have nothing, I've got the ruining fork, I've got one piece of dread amber, so that's not going to do me any good for anything, and uh, let's have a look up here. Say hello to everyone. Let me say hello to everyone real quick, like. Say I'm still lurking, just so they know. So I just did that for no reason in particular, but just to say hi to everyone and let them know I'm still around. Uh, some of them aren't going to be on, but that was really nice. It's nice for them to stop in the chat and say something. So. Yeah, anyway, I got a, I got a, um, uh, I got a couple of things to turn in here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and I'm about at the two-hour mark, so it's probably have time to like have lunch or whatever it is that I'm going to have. What What's this? Wait, seek? wait. Han Stormstout. He's in. He's in amber. Han is encased in a tomb of amber. Right. Can I? Can I not use the? Uh, Wait, can I not use the ruiner on him? Why wouldn't that work? Evidently it wouldn't work. Okay, well it seems like you should be able to. You have the eyes of one who has traveled much. Okay, blood of the ancients. Any luck? Yes, I had luck. I'm cheering. 
That should do it. Recipe complete. Now let's see how the beer tastes. Oh my gosh. Lore Master of Pandaria. Dread Haste makes Dread Waste. I did it. I got Lore Master of Pandaria. Okay. So uh, then there's... Was a mantid inside that amber? I never would have thought that the solution to our war on the mantid would be another mantid. Okay, but that's how it turns out. It's funny how life is. So... Uh, and uh, what am I supposed to do? Oh, look, another, wait, this is, um, these are basically the same, but they're mastery or critical strike. So I'm not going to go for, I'm just going to keep the boots I have. I'm going to go for the most expensive one, Lyokuk the Lucid. Amber is the color of my energy. So there's uh, there's other... Oh, see, you have to find these Klaxi Paragons, I see, and in order to find them all. That's part of what this is. So this is not a required for a lore master, but there's different ones. I found... Uh, uh, Kairos, the Locust. And evidently... This is pretty much it. There's nothing to, to be done here. Um, there's nothing to be done. There's no more. Uh, there's no more story here in this area. Oh, wait, there is something. There is. Speak to the Klaxi there. Okay. Well, I before I do that, finest, I will uh, divest myself of this equipment that I don't need. Okay. Say soulbound. Trinket, right? Soul bound. Soul bound. Right. Uh, oh, here's a here's a leather item I can equip. So I suppose I want to do that May before I do anything else. Let's we'll see storm. what it looks like. Probably doesn't look like much, but oh, it's kind of neat. It's kind of nifty, uh, I guess. Well, it's not bad. It's these pants. They're pretty cool, I guess. So, uh, all right. So, um. I'll put that on, and I'll then I can then now it's soul bound. So let's see, I've got this soul bound, soul bound, soul bound. That's my that's my outfit. That's my casual outfit. And uh, let me see, uh, soul bound doesn't look like much and then uh, what these are the shoulders they're soul bound I don't need them and what's this held in offhand Chronicle of a hundred wars it's just a really cool looking book uh, it's essentially a an offhand that I can hold and then this is also soul soul bound it's a leather helm that just looks like kind of a Chinese looking kind of war warriors helm of some kind Kyparic staff. Let's see what it looks like. That's pretty cool looking. No, there's no doubt about it. That's pretty nice looking. So, I don't know. Maybe she should change her appearance to that. That that's pretty appropriate for for this zone anyway. So, uh, anyway, that's all of that. So I can get rid of at least. Uh, I can get rid of uh, like all of this stuff here. Yeah, you know, big fan of MMOs. Stay I've been focused. wanting to try Black Desert online, actually. Uh, I might stream that, actually, that just to see, you know, what what it's what it's all about. A start. I I mean, it'd be cool, like starting a new game as a complete noob. Since I am a lamer and I suck, then being a noob is just another is a further extension of that. So I should, you know, like starting Black Desert online from scratch. Um, on stream, you know, I don't know. That sounds like lamer gold right there. So, uh, you know, what's not to love about someone who's a lamer trying to do something they've never done before and just having no idea what to do? That would probably be awesome. So, 
I'm thinking maybe that's that's maybe what I should do. I I kind of been wanting to try that game anyway. And it looks beautiful. That's the thing about Black Desert Online is it looks beautiful. Um, I never uh, I was not too enthused with uh, like I love playing Skyrim, you know, with lots of mods and stuff and and uh, um, but. I was never really uh, very enthused about Elder Scrolls Online, and uh, I'm not sure why it is. I didn't actually, there were things I just didn't like about it, but I couldn't quite put my finger on why it was. You know, it's neat that there was an Elder Scrolls related um, MMORPG, but all the places looked different, and it was, uh, wasn't exactly the same. You know, it wasn't like being like in Skyrim, and uh, um, the character customization was pretty good considering uh it's an mmo but you know i don't know there was just something there that it wasn't uh wasn't for me so much uh wolf shade welcome i see you're there hey wolf shade shout out to wolf shade so i still don't have any panels or overlays uh, because I'm a lamer, but uh, I'm going to get that going at some point. I really am going to figure that out. I, I don't know if I need to actually, I still don't even know, I don't know for sure if I need to wait till I'm an affiliate to do any of that stuff. But maybe not, because I think Streamlabs is just a separate thing. So you just get panels and you put them in your thing and that's all you do, I guess. So, you know, I'm not sure. Um, so... Yeah, not really sure. Just, 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 uh, just, uh, uh, just kind of, just kind of, sort of, all right. Well, anyway, but yeah, I, I don't know. Black Desert Online, it's it it looks fun actually, and a lot of people play it. A lot of people, you know, it was sort of like there was a big to do about it kind of for a while. And I've seen some videos where people were talking about it and kind of reviewing it and saying what they liked and what they didn't like. And like for me, a lot of the things that I liked about it were probably not even the gameplay things. I just liked some of the cosmetic things about it. Um that weren't as, uh, you know, like they put a little more effort into some of the MMO, you know, the immersion things about it, I thought. Um, I think it's kind of like, um, it kind of looks like, uh, it kind of looks a little bit, it's more photorealistic and, uh, you know, in a lot, in the way that Elder Scrolls Online is, but maybe even more so. And, uh, you know, I don't know, it's it's a Korean game, is that right? I don't actually remember if it's Korean or Chinese or whatever, but um, it, it's, uh, not, not that that really matters, but sometimes if you know the, the, the culture of origin of a game d developer, you can kind of understand why they do some of the things they do, because cultures are a little different, you know, all around the world, so, you know, it bears, it bears noticing that uh, because there's there's cultural differences and so um, it's kind of it's kind of interesting to see the kind of things they do in different countries and what they focus on and what they think is more important either gameplay wise or aesthetically or whatever uh. You know, a lot of free-to-play games and stuff will have passive leveling. Uh, you know, like Forsaken World has that. You know, you go to the certain place and you just level even while you're asleep. And you'll just wake up in the morning and your character will level. Or you can auto-attack all night long. And you can have it. You can have your character, like, it's not even botting. It's built right into the game where you can bot your character. And your character can, like, kill stuff all night long. And, uh... Um... And you can get like extra. You can level while you're while you're offline or not offline, but you know I don't know. And one of the immersion things I thought I would like to see is uh, I mean like um, you know in an MMO, 
I always kind of thought it'd be cool if if you had other characters that when you logged off, they just kind of stayed, they, they walked around the city or something, or wherever you were, they kind of turn into an NPC and just wander around. And if they weren't all in the same place, it would kind of be okay, like it would work. And like in a big city, if like a hundred people were logged off there, uh, it would only pick, you know, maybe the most recent ones or... You know, the ones that had just logged off re more recently or the ones that were more active players or maybe there could be achievements where you could, your character would wander around in the city. And, um, you know, I don't know, I always thought that'd be cool. Or at least even for you, your lobby, uh, like, like nobody else would see, like all your characters would be in Goldshire hanging out and drinking beer and walking around and sitting on chairs and talking to each other and, and et cetera. But... Maybe nobody else would see it but you. So, but like everyone's characters could be like that, and it was just like a local phenomenon, just creating a little bit of immersion. And maybe it would uh, do it if you were grouped up with someone and they could see all your characters then or something. But uh, it just sort of—I uh, always thought that'd be cool. And you know, like a game where uh, your character was always in the game once you created it would be kind of neat. You know. Um, you know, I mean, if I made my own MMO, I'd probably want to put that in. <laughs> so, you know, it doesn't require that much processing power for that anymore. It wouldn't take much. Um, uh, just, uh, you know, and then if you're, if there were factions and you're, you're like someone came, like if the Horde came to attack Goldshire and your character was there, your character could fight just like an NPC. And, you know, would respawn after a while and, uh, you know, maybe it'd be, uh, maybe it'd be green, like in color. Like when you, when you, um, when you click on a player, you don't see the green, you see like blue or class colors. And maybe that your character would turn green when you were in NPC mode. That would be kind of neat, though. That would be neat if your character just kind of wandered around the world or did, did different things while you were offline. Uh, that would be awesome, I think. You know, maybe you'd have to have an active subscription for it or, you know, something like that. I, 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 I think, and, you know, just, uh, just there, you know. Anyway, so let's see. I'm now enough, enough like running around in circles and talking about stuff for no reason. I'm going to go down here and check out the Claxi. They want to talk to me about something. Even though I think we're done with all the quests, uh, there's at least one more thing to do, which maybe might be sending me somewhere else in the, in the world or sending me to a dungeon, or it could be anything, really. Getting Going after the queen. The queen, you know, they want to get the queen. And uh, that seems like a big thing to do. That's important. So, we'll find out what it's about here in just a second. In addition to having all these dailies, which I'm not going to do again. Unless, I don't know, maybe if they take me, if this quest will take me somewhere where the dailies will, will be, then maybe I could do them, but... Your arrival is timely, Wakener, okay? Our ritual is underway. Okay? The ritual is underway. It's been underway ever since... Uh, okay, here. Hang on. I gotta click the ritual thing. Okay. Overthrown. The council is in harmony, Wakener. Our ritual will bring about the demise of the Empress and allow us to secure the future of our great empire. Okay. And, uh... Let's see. Um... Behold the power of the Klaxi. Speak to the Klaxi Vor in Klaxi Ves and behold this power of the Klaxi. Which one? Oh. I think I'm like, what? what's happening? I'm flying around here, evidently. I'm not down there, so for some reason I'm up in the air flying around. Oh, there. That thing. Oh. Oh, the Empress. She's drilling a hole in that thing. What do I do? Oh, no. Such is the fate of those who question authority. Rawr, question authority. 
Okay. Witnessed Claxi ritual. Okay, I did it. I witnessed the. Oh, that's how small I am compared to these guys. That's why I couldn't see myself. So, uh, we are undone, Wakener. Your efforts appear to have become imperative to our cause. On behalf of the remaining council, I implore, I implore you to continue in your assistance. Select your reward. The belt is blue, so I got, what is it, critical strike and versatility, critical strike and mastery. Uh, this might be slightly better than, let me see, 25, 38, 18, and 15. Look at that, it's actually slightly better same item level, but okay, I guess I'll take the mastery, I don't know what the best is, so I'll take this, and I guess I can replace it, because uh, it's it's actually got one point better than the belt I'm currently wearing on one thing, one stat. I don't know. I got, well, oh, they didn't have haste, though. They had critical strike. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it, or I'm not. I'm not sure, actually, what I'm going to do. I really could just, um, I got haste and mastery, critical strike and mastery. It doesn't matter. I could take it. I could not take it. It's gonna, not going to change anything. So, really... There's no point. I'm not taking it. So I can get rid of it. And what now is going on? Uh, where is the... Who's the vendor around here? I just can't remember. Look at all these dailies. Oh, my gosh. Speak. Who has the... Who is a vendor around here? Yes, we Who can is it? kill swiftly. Well, who is the... Their death will be swift. Okay, who's the uh, vendor Tears around here? In the wind. Bye, so. Here we go. This one here. Okay, looks like... Uh, all right, well, there's no ring, is there? Waist, waist, neck. There are some purples, though. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. But, I mean, there's no point in getting those when your green at the very next area is going to be better than this. So there's no point in getting this, really, any of these. So let's just sell this out. And... Uh, and just be done with it. Restore of it. Restorative amber. You can encase yourself in amber. I don't really. Yeah, we're done. So what? What is our extra help? What? Please continue to assist us for in what? So there's nothing. Basically, we witnessed this. Please continue to assist us. But there's no more quest here now. It's just. It's just a story. All right. So I guess for now, I guess we're done. I've turned this in. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, well, let me see. Do I have the ability to fly to uh, here, the uh, Shrine of Seven Stars? Do I have that flight point or not? From home. I do. I do. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fly over there because that's where I'm going next. So I might as well. I don't know why it's not on the map, though, or I guess it's maybe one of those, maybe it's that, maybe it's that thing where they gave me a, they gave me a flight point, you know, so. Hello, metal. I didn't see you there. Uh, metal blue. Metal Blue, I see you waving at me and with a little picture, but I can't tell uh, anything from it. And um, 
All right. So in any case, uh... Mm. Um, great music in this game. As a musician, I'm here to say this is just amazing. Uh, the shrine let me see what we got here flying trainer there is nothing uh what wisdom do you seek there is no uh there is no uh, available things and already known is everything so uh family friends and there's like what spirit of harmony vendor oh this is one of those things where you can spirit of harmony uh, you can make those and you can buy these other things uh, from however many. Spirit of Harmony, is that like Mode of Harmony? So yeah, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what any of these things are for. Like uh, if I make, I can make two Spirit of Harmonies and uh, I don't know if there's anything I can get from this. So let me see, uh, looks like just uh, Iron Paw Token, I can get an Iron Paw Token to get a uh, recipe, I guess that's a thing, huh? And uh, everything else is just ore, Serpent's Eye for crafting. Uh, all right, uh, I don't see anything. There's like nothing fun in this list. Iron Paw Token. I can see where that would be useful because I could, I could buy a recipe. So I can maybe if I get a couple of those. Uh, what if I get a couple of those? I'll get a couple, and then I got a couple Iron Paw Tokens now, and uh, I think I spent all. I think that's all I got. Right. That's it. Yes. Is that I can't I can't get any more. So I got a couple iron paw tokens, which means I can trade them in for cooking things. And what is this? Oh, this is hello. the uh, this is the kite master. I hope to see you again soon. This is stable master. Until next time. What? Okay. And what else is there around here? There's some kind of a vendor here. My goods are crafted uh, with great care. Oh, roses again. You can buy May flowers. It's all they have all the flowers. See what's over here. Looking to buy? The regular repair vendor. Farewell. And uh, oh, there's a quest here. What's this? Battle pets. Okay, it's a battle pet. Uh, what is it? Uh, what we've been training for. That's all it is. Now, what's this? Pleased to meet you. Oh. Pleased to meet you. Now, I'd like to travel to Ratchet. You can go to Ratchet. Off in the way. Does this thing go? Is this can go to Ratchet? But if you travel to, can why I would you? I want to travel to Ratchet again? You got. You need to go somewhere. As long as it's Ratchet, I got. I got your fast track right here. Why? Okay. So ten dollars to travel to Ratchet. Be seeing you. Why do you need to travel to Ratchet? Why is there that in particular? Ratchet? Really? So, uh, Ratchet is, uh, here, right? In the Barrens? Uh, isn't that right? The, the Northern Barrens, Ratchet. Then Kalimdor, like another point in Kalimdor that I don't need to go to because I have, uh, 
I have Moonglade already, really. I wonder why this was here, though. There's probably a reason. There's probably some. There's probably some daily or some reason why people would have to go there. I'm guessing. I'm just guessing now. I really don't know. Uh. Oh look, here's training dummies. Ninety. And uh, like a raider's training dummy. And uh, well, anyway, there's training dummies there. That's cool. And uh, what else is there around here? There's a board. One of these is going to probably count as an inn. This here, I guess. And oh, oh, what's this? Innkeeper. Witness to history? Is this like where the, uh... I see like another... Okay, what's that? Is that the board? That's the board, isn't it? Oh no, there's like a person here. What there is really need? a quest here. Taijing the Cyclone. Look at that. Okay. So, witness to history. This is the, uh... Tell me of your travels. Let's make this in my home for now. Is your teacher. Okay. And you let's are uh most welcome. What can I find here in the city? Your dreams. Upstairs you'll find the bank vault, city portals, vendors of all trades have been set up. Shop around the building. Please explore at your own leisure. Okay. So there's like uh are there guards that can tell you? Yeah, there are, indeed. There's guards that can tell you where to find stuff. Okay. All right. And then that. I guess I want to do this. A witness to history. Welcome to the Shrine of the Seven Stars. I wish I could bring you better tidings, Druid, but the situation here in the Vale is quite dire. There's much to do, but first to rest and explore the city. Welcome to the Vale. That's it. Open. That's it. Witness to history. So there's one thing to do here. Mm -hmm. Talk to this guy. Heroic deeds and proving grounds. Well, heroic deeds. What's this? You look like you've seen some adventures. If you can bring me a truly heroic story, I've got something special I'm sure you'd be interested in. A goodbye. I accept. And what do I do when I have it? Proving grounds is for what am I supposed to get him then? Heroic deeds. Anything to tell me? White tiger watch okay. over you. Well, like, well, what could I tell him? What's a what's a truly heroic story? What would be a heroic story for? Until next time. I don't actually know what the heroic story would be. Oh, um, complete a heroic scenario. Oh, okay, I see. What do you need? I see. So, proving grounds. This is going to be like you there, Elisa, right? I'm Tai Jing. Tai Jing sizes you up. You look strong. Go to the proving grounds. This is where the proving grounds first appeared in this expansion. Okay, if you're interested in proving yourself, speak with a trial master at Rotun in the Temple of the White Tiger in Kun Lai. He will put you to the test. Enough of that. All right, well, at least I have to go somewhere and do something, so that's something anyway. Uh, okay, so here's the big city, and there's this kind of stuff all over the place. And uh, there's some things here and some things there, and I don't know what any of these things are. There's probably a transmogger here. Look at that. <laughs> Okay, transmogger, and uh, I think my transmog is applied already, so basically, uh, basically that. Um, I'm, uh, Looks like a banker. And where's auctioneers? Are they here? 
auctioneers, bankers here, lots of bankers. These are not, these are not, where's auctioneers? Where are the auctioneers located in this city? Transmog here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me go to the other side. Upper levels, there were auctioneers, supposedly, according to what they said. I want to explore this a little. Let's see what's up here. These are just some NPCs. Hey there. Okay. Your see deeds you of later. valor will be remembered. Come speak with okay. me. Okay. Goodbye. All right. Mm hmm. And there's these guys. Oh, there's some portals in here. Oh, look at this. Where do they go? Iron Forge? Oh, they didn't take these out? Exodar? Oh, man. I had no idea. Dalaran? And, uh, Shatrath? Oh, that's neat. I didn't know. I, usually they take these things out after the expansion's over. I wonder why they left them. Iron Forge, Darnassus, Shatrath, Dalaran, Exodar. Oh, awesome. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why... Uh, All right, well, I'm a little confused as to where what's what in here. But it kind of looks like, uh, uh, okay, it kind of looks like there's two levels here or something. And then I'm like, wh wh which way could I go this way? And what's this in here? This look cooking. Okay. You are in for a treat. Cooking supplies. Is there a cooking trainer here? Bread vendor. Please browse my way. Open Meats. for business. Meat and uh, someone's wearing a chef's hat here and uh, barmaid. Is there a cooking trainer? Arcanon Jewel crafting, box. mining, Remember. blacksmithing. What can I do for you? What well, evidently I... no cooking trainer. Where's the? Where, where, why wouldn't there be a cooking trainer? Inscription supplies, tailoring, uh, cooking supplies. Be no cooking trainer. Let's see if there is one. You I could ask. Most welcome. Okay. Uh, profession trainers. Say cooking. Tell me you're looking for cooking. I want to go. You have a cooking trainer here. Interested in developing your cooking skills? Are you need to speak the Iron Paw family? Half Hill Market in the Valley of the Four Winds. Okay. Now, uh, um, let me see. So, uh, is that is that put it on the? Does it does it put it on the map? Half Hill Valley, yeah, Valley of the Four Winds, Farmer, Nishi, Half Hill Cooking. There it is, okay? And so basically there's no cooking trainer here. That's what they're saying. And, uh... Whippy, Whippy, J Whippy Jensen is here. I see how little, everyone's so little. Whippy, there's Whippy, Whippy Jensen. Hey there. Uh. All right. There's a buffet here, and can't really do anything except sit here. And uh, there's little kids, there. little kitties, little panda kitties. Uh. All right. Well, listen. Um. I'm. I'm uh, I'm I'm just uh, kind of looking at. Okay, well, so a fireworks vendor. So is there a mounts vendor here at all, or or what? And there's like a what is this? Oh, that's battle pets. 
Right, I don't want that battle, battle pet thing, but... Uh, according to this, I should find some auctioneers in here, too, but... Uh, sweet treats! My okay. goods are crafted with great care. Cyclonic inspiration. You've been inspired by Taijing the cyclone. Movement speed is increased. Oh, I, I see. see you again soon. Right. Okay. All right. So, sweet treats. What kind of sweet treats does she have anyway? Buy? She has that same stuff that, uh, right, stuff, the same stuff that's in joy. Dalaran. And uh, then there's some stuff over here. This is the, the cooking supplies. But she didn't sell, like, uh... My goods are crafted with great care. Oh, she does have, um, oh, she has, like, some low-level recipes, and, uh, Barmaid has what? Is that a panda? It's a panda. Looking to buy that? You have very little. And over here is kind of something, though. Engineering supplies. How are you? Harvey. Here's the auctioneer. Okay. What does he say? He does a, My service as an auctioneer are available to those with skill in engineering. Sadly, you don't have any. Please leave. Okay, so no, no auctioneer from this guy. Talk to me. All right. Don't need the Hearthstone. I can get rid of it. Uh, all right. Well, they got lots of stuff here, and uh, um, there's this thing, Guild Vault. Really? Okay. Uh, I never even looked in the guild vault of this guild. There's some glyphs. Death Knight. Priest. Alright, uh... Alright, I don't even know what any of this is stuff for. But, uh... Hey, you kind of know the, the Azure Silk Belt. Um, it had a swim speed buff on it. And then there were some uh, swift boots that also had like a buff where you could, uh, you actually, they had an ability and you activated it. And they, they gave you a sprint, a limited time sprint, you know, that they could use once every hour or something. I always put that, I put those on my warrior. Like, her riding outfit was part of that. And then if I got ganked, I would, if I was on my mount, I got attacked, I could run away really easily. Because I had, like, two different types of fast movement things or something, or two or three I had managed to collect. And uh, um, so I could sprint, and uh, so not a lot of, not a lot of, uh, they would kind of take them by surprise so they couldn't catch me. It was the best I could do because I wasn't very good in PvP, so... Uh, oh, hey, uh, hey, Wolfshade, uh, can you, are you listening right now? Did I miss you? Did you, uh, are you still there? Or do I need to type back to you? Uh, um, yeah, if you, if you, okay, so are you there, Wolfie? Uh, okay, yeah, so Wolfie, are you, can, can you, can you hear me, are you, can, can you, are you watching, are you watching, or, or do I need to type? Okay, so, uh. Okay, well, so I can talk then. Then, uh, all right. Well, uh, it's in your um, in your um, live uh, in your dashboard, your Twitch dashboard. There's a thing that says uh, premieres and reruns. If you got the default set up, it's in the upper right kind of area in your live thing, and you gotta make sure in in your channel settings you're saving your vodcast. So it only saves them for 14 days if you're not uh, uh, a, a 
you know, a partner, I guess, then it can save them for 60 days. But that's why I put all mine on YouTube anyway. Uh, you just go in there and you can add things to your rerun. You can do it from the rerun interface, but it'll only give you the mo like like maybe the 10 or 10 or so more most recent ones. But you can take like all of your videos unless they're about to drop off of the map. Uh, you can take all your videos and you can put them on there as you make them. And uh, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, there's a the minus to it. There's a minus to it, and that is that. Um, um, see, I do it for a specific reason, and that is because I cannot keep to a schedule. So, um, uh, and so uh, I figure I might as well be streaming 24 hours a day then. But what that means is that means my my views go way down because it counts as a stream. So if nobody's watching the stream overnight, you know, you're not going to get credit for that. You know, if you've got no one watching you or two people or one people, it's not going to count toward your affiliate status. So it's going to make it harder for you to get um, views and stuff. So there might be a reason that you want, might want to re replay your streams, but it's just the rerun interface. It used to be called Vodcast, I understand, and that's before my time. I haven't been on uh, active on Twitch that long. I've had a Twitch account like for forever, but I've never used it for streaming. I've just used it for nothing, basically. Yeah, I had Curse, and it merged with Twitch. That's really how I got Twitch. So I had Curse because I used it to manage my mods in WoW. But, uh, yeah, you, you know, you just go in your live... Uh, your live tab in your uh, in your settings on the web not not in the client but on the web just go on the web and get into your your account settings and then that you can uh, you can uh, um, uh, you can you can uh, um, set up your reruns and basically you, you, you do have to turn them on okay when you're not streaming and then you have to turn them off before you start streaming. And, you know, when you do that, make sure and don't start streaming too quick. Make sure the stream, like the, the rerun stream, is not going. Because otherwise, you know, you could get locked out. It's, it's complicated. So, but uh, um, you can basically start streaming at, like, you know, a, a 30 seconds after you, you stop your life, then you can rerun your current stream or a bunch of your streams or whatever and that's the way it works. Uh, does, that, does that make sense? Like I said, there's the, 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 the downside of it is it counts as your live streaming. So that means if nobody's watching your reruns, then it doesn't, it, 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 it adversely affects your average watchers. So, um, you know, it might make it hard to get to affiliate and uh, you know, I thought about that, you know, aspect of it, but I, because I, that's why it's easier, it's better. It's like usually more advantageous to auto-host people when you're not on, and you end up actually getting more followers that way. It's just that it's really important to have a schedule, and if you don't have a schedule, then, um, and I can't have a schedule because I have like this really weird sleep disorder. I've got this thing called delayed sleep phase. So I really can't keep to a schedule. It's very, very difficult for me. So uh, because of that, I just, I just uh, stream like three times a day whenever I'm up. And that could be the middle of the night, or it could be the reg regular times during the day, or whatever. But basically, I just do that, and then I turn on the reruns on any other time. So this way, I'm always streaming. If someone wants to watch me, I'm always there. But... Like I said, just just fair warning. There is a downside to doing that, and you can get more followers and likes and watchers and stuff if you. Um, this is what I understand anyway. Then if you uh, if you don't do that, and there's sort of the community thing of you help each other out. And I don't do as much. Uh, like I have a lot of people on auto host, but I don't do it very much because basically my reruns are usually playing. So. Uh, but that's how it works. It's it's an it's not a new feature. It's um, I guess it's just re, a repackaged feature that they already had. They just used to call it Vodcast, 
And now, like, if you upload a video to uh, Twitch, it doesn't get deleted after 14 days, and it becomes a, it has to be premiered first. So you have to schedule it as a premiere, and that means you got to <clears throat> watch out and not be uh, streaming while it's coming up, or else it won't premiere. And then after it premieres, uh, if it's an uploaded video, if it's one of your streams, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can you can rerun it any time. But because you've already, you know, it's already been premiered by, you know, being on your stream. But if you upload a video, I guess you have to wait like 48 hours before you can, um, you know, like, uh, before you can put it on YouTube or whatever. And uh, um, so they added premieres and, uh, um, and I actually did one premiere just because I was trying to experiment with it and see how it worked. But, uh... I like one of my my number 90 in the, my number 90 video in this series was a premiere and uh, it's just because I did a little editing on it and it's not really a very good editing either it was just an experiment to see how it would work I'm not even sure if it, but it counted as a premiere because I downloaded it and then I uploaded it again and and uh, then I saw that I had to premiere it in order to put it on the regular vodcast, so I had to do a premiere, so I did one. And uh, and then it, it took like forever before, I don't know, now I could probably transfer it to YouTube, but it let me uh, download it before it would allow me to trans uh, transfer it. So I ended up downloading it and then re-uploading it to YouTube instead of just transferring it to YouTube because it wasn't working uh, it takes like it takes a while anyway for it but um, but mostly the the rerun thing is pretty cool but just be aware that that means you have to if you if you're running reruns 24 hours a day that means you have to have an average of however many uh, viewers for that entire 24 hours or else it's going to adversely affect your your uh, your numbers so yeah so, you know, enjoy it, do it, but, you know, just be aware. That's something that I discovered. So, you know, definitely, you know, you got to make sure that you have a real reason to do it. Mo that's why I'm, I think that's the reason why most streamers don't do it. Because I asked a couple of streamers about it, and they say, well, they were aware of it, but they, they didn't do it. And uh, the reason they didn't do it is because it, it actually it, it cuts down on their views their total views of their their average views and it also um, it uh, it also they like to help out their their peeps you know and uh, as we used to say in the what the 90s or something peeps is that is peeps still in use I think it might be I don't know anyway they, they help out their 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 uh, their fellow streamers and uh, um, uh, so they prefer to do like auto host or or whatever, which I would prefer to do too. But like I said, I cannot have a schedule; it just won't work for me. So uh, I'm grudgingly use the rerun thing, but and I don't know. I, there might be ways you can use it to to your benefit, but um, I'm not sure. It just makes it just it just makes more work. It makes more work for me. Because I I can have my streams rerunning, but then they it, it lowers my overall viewership, you know. So that's a that's a thing to consider. I guess I should stop repeating that story over and over again now. <laughs> I mean, those are my thoughts on it, and I'm sticking to it. I'm like two hours and 53 minutes. I got to go get some lunch or something. So I'm about to switch to a rerun. And uh, that's what I'm about to do right now. Um, but I could, if you're still on, are you still there? Uh, um, um, if you're still there, I could switch to, I could switch to auto host. I could auto host you for a little while, I guess. You know, I'd be happy to do that. But I don't know if you're. I don't know if you're online. I, I'm. I gotta check it out here. Let me see. Let me see what it shows that you are here. So let me see. Uh, I've got. Uh, okay. So I could do this for one thing, and then. Uh, and then uh, let me see here. Uh, 
How do I do this? Uh, I want to do... Uh... Oh, here we go. Can I search? Yeah, I can. Let's see. X Wolf Shade X. There you are. Can add you to that list. Oops. Okay. Looks like something's going on here. All right. Looks like you don't have it turned on. Like, uh, um, uh, looks like your rerun. Like you've got your rerun crew queue, but you got no reruns going. You got to put things in the queue. So you know, I, 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 you probably are getting it, but right now it doesn't show me anything except uh, it doesn't show me that you're you you've got it. It looks like you're experimenting with it anyway. So. <laughs> Anyway, I'll put you in my re in my I'll put you in my auto host queue, but um, uh, we'll see what uh, uh, playing Dark Souls three. That I've been intrigued with the idea of uh, playing that. Uh, all right, and uh, about to go to bed. Well. Be best to you. Good night. Uh, uh, feel free to host me if you'd like, or, or I don't know what you're going to do, but uh, I'm going to do my I'm going to do my replays then. And uh, um, um, but if you ever do want to host, um, uh, just go ahead and you know let me know because uh, um, I don't mind doing it. You know um, I'm usually up anyway, so it doesn't matter. I could host for a while. And then I could worry about the rest later. <laughs> so, um, anyway, that's the way it works, though. You, you've got it. You have a, you have a very good night. And, uh, you know, I, what time is it, anyway? It's like uh, almost 10 o'clock. So, all right. Well, it's early for me, late for you, probably. So, uh, you take care, man. Uh, okay. Well, I guess that's going to be it for me. I'm going to I've I've had fun here. I'm going to I'm going to log out for a little while. I'll probably be back later. I, I usually do about 3 streams like this, although this is a pretty long one. I'm going on 3 hours here soon. So, I guess that's going to be it. Um um Yeah, I understand about the reruns. I, I no, I feel you there. It's just, it's like I said. That's why I wanted. I didn't want to steer you wrong on it. It seems like a cool idea, but it is, it is a, a burden also because it means that you. It's hard to keep people watching, you know. So yeah, I just have no choice in the matter as far as you know. I just can't. I can't have a streaming schedule. So I do my best. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I guess this is going to be it for now. Am I, uh, I don't have the Z's. If I want Z's, I have to go inside here. So I want Z's, don't I? Not, I don't need them, but I want the Z's. Let's get the Z going here. I come in here. I don't get Z's in here. Yes, I do. I got Z's in here, and oh, I get the speed of the Waz name by being a uh, our first aid trainer. Look Greetings. at that. Why is there no cooking trainer here? It kind of makes no sense. I guess Kronakai no, because uh, you're supposed to uh, you're Tell supposed to um, 
Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're supposed to do that, that all that Pandaria cooking stuff that's like a thing. So you have to, uh, you have to, um, um, do the rep grind with the cooks and stuff, and that's a thing, I guess. Okay, so anyway, all right, what's up here? Let's gotta look up here, see what's up here. Bunch of stuff. Wow, what is all this? Raid finder, raid vendor. This is a vendors. What is your hurry? Okay. May your deeds live on in story. Bye, you're a So just uh very good. Raid vendor, heroic vendor, mythic vendor. Just vendors. Okay. Surely. Sort of scribes up here or something, and uh, I don't know what else. Uh, banker? They're all bankers. Look like they should be auctioneers, but they're not. They're bankers. Oh, they're bankers, or I can get rid of the, some stuff that I don't need to carry around forever. Happy Fun Ball, I don't need that. Relic of the Argus, don't need that. Uh, I could get rid of this thing, and uh, I guess I want to keep that. Is all the mechanical Yeti on this character? I never, I never use that. I always have it, and I never use it. So uh, maybe I'll keep a Happy Fun Ball here because uh, if I if I keep that, then then uh, I could either destroy it or. I could play with hatchlings with it, but um, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess that's it then. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say goodbye to you, everyone, and uh, yeah, I'll probably be back, you know, in a little while. So.